got here? What am I riding? This is a 1985 CR250R. This thing is a relic. Whew. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Had that KX250 that I fixed for uh, that guy's son. And this is the bike that uh, he bought for himself. And I just did some work to it. Runs so much better now. Ran like shit when I got it. But yeah. Runs really good now. I think you'll be happy with it. Yeah. So yeah, I've been uh, really busy. Working, trying to do things for people, like this bike. So videos have kind of been on my uh, back list lately. Um, sorry about that. A lot of it has to do with my equipment. I got really shitty uh, camera equipment. Uh, shoot. Yeah, it's running good now. I think you'll be happy with this. Sweet. All right. I am very glad to get this out of my garage, my uh, work tent. So yeah, been doing this on the side, been doing my job on the other side, which has been really, really hectic and busy. The weather has really been kind of miserable. It's either raining, cold. It's like one of the first warm days we've had in like two weeks. So it's actually kind of nice. This old bike's got some good grunt to it. That's kind of nice. I am out of shape and they are logging. Oh yeah, there's some logging going on. Wow. That's new. Uh, oh, my trail. I knew they were gonna log back here. Yeah, look at that. No. My favorite trail is going to get lost. Oh, it's already being logged. Wow. That sucks. go fast through too many puddles because this thing's set up for motocross. The airbox has got holes in the sides. And when I found this bike, it actually had uh, mud, like two inches of mud caked in the bottom of the airbox. It's like, you gotta be kidding me. That was bad. So 
so I did a compression check on it. It's okay, it's like around 155, 160-ish. Which ain't bad, but it's gonna need new rings and uh, piston and rings soon. I told him to hold off till maybe the end of the season. Cause he's already gonna be spending a lot on everything I did to it. So. Not a bad bike for an 85. Spen suspension's a little weird for me. But it's actually softer than I was expecting. But it is an 85, so it probably needs to be re redone. Yeah, I like two strokes, man. I rode on Ixia after I rode this last night. Doing a quick test run, and man. Onyxia is so top heavy. I kept dumping her and yeah, it was so bad. I was like, oh, this is horrible. So, I don't know, I see a two stroke in my future. I'm not gonna get rid of Onyxia though, because that's my road bike. lost it there. So j rads still alive everybody. Still doing my thing. Hopefully the weather will be a lot nicer and I'll be able to go out and do some shit. As I said, uh, my camera situation's really been bugging me. Uh, I got lucky, my Hero 2's working again. But it's still a pain in the ass because I have to charge it with the other uh, Hero 960 because I screwed up the USB port. And I have a little surprise after our wedding. And I'll tell you right now, there it is. Yeah, me and Heather bought a Hero 3 Plus with our wedding fund money because we're actually going to use it at our we wedding for a slow motion booth which will be pretty cool so but I'm not allowed to touch it till after our wedding and honeymoon so till then I got the Hero 2 and you know how that goes so there she is 1985 CR250R. Not a bad bike. I hope you didn't pay too much for it because it is an oldie, but it's in pretty good shape. What I did to it was uh, new fork boots, new clutch cable, welded a hole in the exhaust manifold, repainted it, repainted the motor. New air filter, cleaned the carb about six times until finally I realized it was running really, really rich and it needs a new main jet, but it's working for now. Uh, new front tire, and that's pretty much it. Um, seat cover too, I did a seat cover. Unfortunately, I got it all dirty for him. Hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> but yeah, it's running pretty good. I'm happy about that. I'm gonna go home, give this thing a bath, give that guy a call, see if I can get rid of this thing tonight, get paid, and until then, J-Rad out. <laughs>